Oh. Thought I cut myself. Did you say you thought you cut yourself? Yeah, but it was a wiener. What? Sprinkle some in the weenies. Ocean water. Ocean water. Or just half of it. We're going to sprinkle some in the chicken. Then we're gonna mix it up really good. See, this is how it looks. And this is the chicken. Now we're going to do the cherry lime. And it smells good. So hopefully the fish will like it. Watermelon. Sonic drink. Sonic drink. Man, that smells good. It smells like watermelon. I think that's the only thing shaking. <laughs> Hopefully we can catch some fish on this bait. They're gonna go in the refrigerator. Get all those good flavors in that chicken. And then the weenies. 
where we can go fishing. So we we'll just need a little bit of work done to them. Trying to yank the line off of this one and put some better line on it. Having trouble. Take and pull it. It's a little pull. Ten minutes later. You're almost there, Junior. Get it, Charlie, get it. Oh, you're there. Dang it, Bubs. What? I didn't go underneath the bell top. I'll fix it real quick. This one up for some channel cat. So you think you're gonna show mama up with your bait? My bait. That you made? Uh, is a, a chicken titties. A chicken what? Titties? Chicken titties. You actually think you'll show up her sonic bait though? Yeah. If you look it up, most of the time cherry works best for fish. Start with the chicken one first. Starburst chicken. Here we go. Got some Starburst. Everybody likes Starburst. The little ones aren't the best though. Starburst chicken. Do a little taste test. Tastes like Starburst. Woo! Okay. Now some Kool Aid. Everybody likes some cherry Kool Aid. 
and this chicken's right. Time for a little taste test, just. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Whole package of cherry Kool-Aid mix. Let all the air out. Time to taste them. No, I'm sorry. I ran out of cherry Kool-Aid, so we're trying tropical punch. The fish won't know the difference. Now tell me that I don't like no catfish meat right there. Looks like a bunch of blood. That one does. And there you have it. <clears throat> you know I hate these stupid ass cheap plastic reels. Even Zebco uses them now and I hate dang plastic. I got one just like this one right here. Let me show up with the phone camera. This right here. The button's already messed up on the other one. I'll show it here in a minute. But man, I hate these stupid ass plastic crap. Gonna have to invest in some good, good reels here pretty quick. Oh, I've done missed a hoe and maybe this is a sucker that screwed up because it ain't releasing it is here get a better look at it see this button flipped up inside of it jacked up you think most of the time you take off this top right here watch I'll do that and I'll be back in just a second Yeah, I'm okay out here. Why are you okay inside? Yeah. Buggy man gonna get you during the day? See, how in the hell are you supposed to get this crap out? Break it? There ain't no other way. It's split right here. Yeah. It's split for that to come out, but it ain't split for that to come out. Good job, Zebco. Good job. Keep up that stupidity some more. I'll get back with you after I figure out how to get it out. Damn crap. For a kid, you don't want to go spend 60, 70 bucks for a rod and rail. Because you don't know if they're going to use it. And they chunk it down all over the place. So you go buy the cheaper one. And this is a crab that comes out of it.
got a reel here that it won't kick the button back up so you can reel it in you gotta pull it up manually there gonna try to fix it got an old ambassador right there that maybe I could steal parts off of you know I finally got tired of that plastic crab yesterday and threw that sucker in the trash gonna have a little bit of trouble getting this sucker up been on there probably 20 years check out that baseball style handle right there so I like this pole. Let me get some tools to get this off and I'll be back. The old lady and the boy both made their own baits. So I snuck in there last night and got a hold of some stuff. And made me a little bit of secret bait. Check it out right here. How do y'all think that'll work? We're just trying a whole bunch of different stuff. Maybe we'll find something that works really, really good. I wouldn't mind if that Sonic bait took off. I'd take a good old sponsorship from Sonic to help us get that boat finished. Ain't gonna cost a lot of money to get it going. I got a checklist right here of everything we still need for it and the cost of it. That ain't too much to spend on it. Not for a good fishing boat. Heck, it wouldn't matter to me if that Starburst bait worked good that my boy done. Heck, I don't care if it was Starburst, Sonic, or Brookshire's from the Toffee. Oh, shh. don't tell nobody about that bait. That's secret. Trying to get a bunch of reels fixed up that need work done on them because if that rain right there will ever stop, We're gonna go fishing and try out a bunch of that bait. But that rain is the worst stuff. By the time we get stuff loaded up, ready to go, it starts raining. We can never catch a time when it ain't raining. We're gonna go try out all that bait, see what works. Today's Friday though, and it's supposed to rain all day today. Hopefully this video will be up this evening or tomorrow sometime. But weather shows rain all the way through next weekend. But make sure y'all stick around and hit that subscribe button in case we get something on that next fishing trip. We'll show it one way or another, even if we don't catch nothing. That's what we're about on this channel, is just showing the adventures, the good and the bad. Y'all know how that is. 
most of the time you go fishing, you don't catch anything. But we'll still show it even if we don't. So make sure you hang around and see what happens with it. Gonna finish this so real right here and try to get inside before it starts raining too hard.